Welcome back to another episode of Tech One Two. I'm your host, Rolando. I'm the founder of Global Tech Worldwide, and I'm glad that you joined me today uh, for another special round of talking technology with myself. And I want to have somebody else join me here, one of my colleagues who's going to come in and uh, help me out with a few things. And today we're talking technology and we're talking webcams. You know, a lot of people have gone in and bought webcams over the last 18 to 24 months. And many of them were low end webcams and basically because you just needed something to show your face. Well, I'm going to show you today a webcam. If you're looking to upgrade your look, if you're looking to upgrade your brand and how you present yourself to your customer, a very good webcam that allows you to show yourself in a much better way than you probably are doing if you're using one of those lower end webcams. So without further ado, helping me along for the ride today is my colleague over here, Virtual Ori. What up? What up, what up, what up, bro? Hello, hey, Amazon hey. Live. It's uh, good to be back. And we already have a bunch of viewers in Amazon. Awesome. Hey, shout out to the two viewers on stream right now. If you unmute and say hello, you know, we can do some shout outs. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm excited to talk about the Comftel Cam 20 with you, Rolando. Awesome. I know. I, uh, you know, we play with a lot of toys, Ori, and we have the fortune of try being able to compare a bunch of them. And there's a lot of really cool things that this particular webcam does that you're not going to find on some other webcams. So I'm really excited to show the people that are watching us today why they should look at this webcam. So let's jump right into that. And before we give you all the features and all the specs, I want to show you what you get inside the box. So Ori, right, let's go into that. So this is what the box, it's not any extremely fancy kind of looking a box, but what you get from Comftel, they're a Swedish company, or you know, the Swedes are known for being very environmental friendly, and this company's no exception. They have climate neutral certification, which means when you get this box with this product in it, they've done the carbon offset to, to make sure that the emissions that were generated creating the item and shipping the item are offset. So that's something if you're really into the environmental um, movement or you want to be as uh, carbon neutral, I was looking for the right word, carbon neutral with getting a product, Comftel is really heavy into that. And that's something you can feel good about. They have it all over their website. You could check that out as well. So that's the first thing right off before we open it. So you get it in this brown box and what I'm going to do, let me move my keyboard out of the way. Okay, so you can see that better. And in the box, I had already taken out the remote because I had been playing around with it for the last couple of days. But you get this nice, cool remote, which makes it very different than most webcams. Most webcams, you just get it. It sticks on top of your uh, computer or your monitor and then you're done with it. This one, you get a nice little cool remote. All right. Oh, look at that. Let's do that again. Oh, there we go. I'm messing up with the camera today. Yeah, you maybe you could uh, even bring it closer, Ro. Like really point it, point it forward. Let's bring it forward. There you go. Well, I'll, I'll find I'll find the sweet spot. But anyways, <laughs> you get this cool remote yeah. with it, so you could do some things. And we're gonna show you what it looks like. I've got it mounted to my uh, monitor here, and we're, I'm gonna actually show you live. We're gonna go away from the studio cams in a moment, and I'll show you what that actually looks like in real time. So you've got the box. Let's open it up. And in the box. Like I said, you get you get this remote control that comes with it. You have the webcam. Now this does look like a different webcam. Most webcams are little small item. They're they're probably the size of, of what I've got here, like a little jar, and, and that's it. This this particular webcam got several features like 4K built in. It, you've got on the back an HDMI port, so you can output what you're seeing to a second monitor. So that's something very different that you're not going to see on a lot of webcams. Uh, you also have on the bottom of the webcam, give me a, let's see. Yeah, give me that behind the shot. I want to show this, this, there we go. So on the bottom, on the stand, it is, it's more robust. So it, it can flex, it can open, it can secure itself to many more size computers, monitors. So it's very adjustable. So you can do a lot of configurations and pointing it up, down, and having it really stay on uh, your monitor or laptop. 
The other thing that you want to take a look at when you look at this, you have on the bottom here, you have the one quarter inch, I believe it's the quarter inch screw that you could use if you wanted to mount it on the tripod. Uh, let's say you're in a classroom environment, you have children, uh, you want to be able to, if you want to you be able to use a tripod, it will screw into a regular photography tripod and mount right on there. I've used it like that as well, as well as what you, I've got another one mounted on here. Okay. So with this, you also have built-in microphones and we're going to talk about the importance of audio because if you're somebody that really wants to let your voice be heard clearly and properly, as good as this webcam is, and actually virtually all webcams with the exception of one that I can think of, the P15, all webcams have a microphone that's built in and it's right here into the, the camera itself which is not the the clue that i was looking for but what you do get is when you have that webcam physically located away from your face you your voice has to travel at least 12 inches depending on how far or more like mine is at least two feet away from me the webcam that's over on the monitor so when you're talking to a microphone that's two feet away from you that voice has to travel a long distance in order to be picked up by the microphone and because of that, if you're not in a quiet environment, it's going to sound like everything else is in the room with you, the fan, the air conditioning, the dog, you know, the person at home, if you're at home, everybody that's around you, if you're in the office. So from an audio perspective, ConfTil has a kit that includes several other pieces, uh, it includes a high quality speakerphone and a hub to allow you to better improves your audio so that when you are presenting yourself with a beautiful camera like this, you can also sound like a professional. So we're going to get to the, the kit in a moment, but I wanted to point that out in terms of uh, weight. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So it's not a, like a little light paperweight, you know, it's got some weight. It's got some oomph to it. The graphics on this are, are really nice and it's got a very wide aperture. It's got a 123 degree field of view. So you're going to get a very wide angle to view this to, to see the video or the person that you're talking to to see the video that you're on in the box you also have some getting started the quick guide the warranty card you've got you, you've got a really long cable here a very long cable that will connect it's USB A so it will connect USB A on on virtually every computer out there. If you've got USB, obviously you'll probably need a converter from USB A to USB C. So that's what you get inside the box. And inside the box, you also get the batteries for the remote. Let me not forget that because what's the point of having a remote if you don't get the batteries included, right? So that's that's thrown in there for you. All right. To talking about Comftel, I think we could show now we're showing the product. It is really nice good looking product. It's a very robust product. Why don't we just show people exactly what it does? We'll go we'll jump into the remote control and then we'll jump after that into the kit. So I'm going to switch my camera. So you're looking at me and then you're looking at this overhead shot using Sony cameras. We're going to go to the Comftel and you're going to see some really impressive things. So Ori, give me a moment while I switch cameras on my end. Sure. No problem. All right. So I've switched over to the Comftel. So you're going to get to see what it's like here, but a little bit behind the scenes, you see this camera set up behind me. You have my, my shelving of goods and all kinds of knickknacks that I have here, but look at this picture, Ori first off the, just off the bat here. I'm going to look into the camera now. I think we're getting a really good looking image and what we're using are not $20 cameras here to bring you these, these video images. Yeah. What you're looking at is straight from the Comftel. So. Uh, the picture looks good. You get a really wide angle. Mm. So you get is if you're in a classroom environment, you're in a huddle room. This is going to be ideal if you want to use something small um, or you're in a small space, you're in a personal space, maybe your home office or you're using this in, in your office. You get to present a wide view. So if you've got several people, this this will do the job, present you very well now. Let's say you're not in a, you know, huddle room. You're not in a classroom. You're not maybe in an office where you need to present two or three people. You just want to present yourself. And this is too much. Here's the beauty of this. Just grab the handy dandy remote and look at this. Wow. <laughs> that is handy. It is extremely useful. And then you're like, wait a minute. You're focusing on the wrong part. Watch this Ori. Oh, that is cool. And oh. it still looks 
it still looks kind of clear even if it's zoomed in like really yeah. close yeah I and, mean, and you're a... you're the camera guy you know the technology video and all, and all that kind of stuff you know what this stuff does so if you just wanted to show your face maybe you're like me maybe you don't want to show all this stuff that you got lying around on the floor maybe you got kids or dogs or other knickknacks and things and you don't want to hear it's just a this is what you would normally see or this is what you normally would see on most webcams right here just this kind of headshot yeah. type of thing and so maybe i say you know i want to show a little bit more maybe i want to show off the environment around me and just make some adjustments right here and all of this again i'm just moving it right here with the remote i can't tell you ori how awesome that is i've shown this product to other clients and I've had it sometimes where, you know, I'm not in this particular office and I've, I've had to zoom out just to show something. And they're like, how are you doing that from your desk? I've, I've got a remote. I've got a remote right here that allows me to do that. So, and it does it in two ways. You've got a, a fast zoom out right here. Boom. Well, wow, that's very wide. That's, is that the widest it goes, Ro? That is the widest. So you get to see actually my green that's, screen here. That's, and that's pretty wide. I, I, so if I put my arms out, you see, I've got pretty good wingspan here. Yeah. I'm covering a, maybe a good six feet around me, up and around. So you get a really again. So if you are whether you're in a home office or studio like this, or you're in the classroom, you're in a uh, huddle room or a huddle space. This is going to get you those several people, usually three or four, sometimes up to five people that you would have in a room that it would cover the size of this type and get everybody nice and framed in. And if you wanted to zoom in on somebody, you know, here you go. Boom. And just move it around. You can move it left. I'm going to move it. Although let's see how far left it goes. Look at this. So now you get to see a little bit of the green screen on that end. Let's move it all the way to the right. Let's keep going. Oh, the, the, my knickknacks and tools and things like that. Look at that. Ooh, I'm almost out of frame there. Completely, almost completely out of frame. Yeah. So you, you get you a good... You can even show your desk, right? Yeah. So, so if I wanted to do, if I'm doing uh, a video, let's say like right now, we're doing an unboxing and we're talking to clients and we want to go ahead and, you know, talk about, you know, this. Oh, yeah, I've go, got the go latest flash mouse. the other one. <laughs> go that? flash the other camera. Yeah. The other <laughs> Cam 20. Yeah, like show, there we go. Like, point it, point it, point it forward for the people. Yeah. That is amazing. There you go. So, you, you could use this also as a tool for creating videos. Like, what I'm doing right now, I'm, we're creating a video live. So, you could use this to, you know, show people products. You know, you got to show the product. You can see, like I said on, in the past, you can see here. Now you're looking at it from the view of another cam. You can see the ports on the back, the HDMI port, the USB port. So in the box, it's a USB. It's not, uh, I can't forget. I can't remember the exact term. This is a USB, but it's a, it's like a printer cable. That's what I'm thinking of. It's a printer cable style on this end, but then USB-A on the other end. So it connects to your computer. All right, it's very easy to to move. You want to zoom back out. Boom, I'm back to showing my environment. So you could demonstrate products. You could show off. Well, you know what? I've got my notes. I want to see what happens if I zoom in on my notes. Will it do that? So if I'm trying to share documents with somebody. Oh, yeah, the light from my, my floodlight yeah, here is overexposed. Too, yeah, Let's it see. might be a bit too strong. Yeah, you could you could kind of get away with it, but you know what we haven't done, Ori? We haven't even optimized the settings. So one of the things that here we go. Yeah, you could you could do some document sharing if you had to, you know, medical stuff, journal stuff. If you're on a secure link, you could share confidential documents, that kind of stuff. I like that. Let's show the folks, Ori. Let's try to tweak some things here. Let's see. Aha, here we go. You have the ability on this remote. Now I'm doing this again, all on the remote. If you don't really love your image that you're looking at, or there are things that you want to do to change the way it looks, I highly recommend to go this route of going into the menu and looking at some things. Cause sometimes there are some things that are off. 
maybe your monitor looks a little weird or maybe you're trying to do a, a vertical image there's a number of things that we could do here so ori i know you're the you are the guru when it comes to this so i need your help all right let's just make some small tweaks here so that folks can see what's going on ah before we do anything else if you see flicker maybe you're in canada hey eh? canadians if you're watching this or other parts of the world, you may not be using the same exact frequency in your electricity and or lights, and this causes some flicker, right? And the way to get rid of that is using this anti-flicker so it'll switch over to a different frequency instead of 60 hertz, all right? In our case, we wanna leave it on 60 hertz because that's what we get here in the US, all right? You could leave the compensation, backlight compensation, gain, exposure compensation, mode we're we're on full auto mode right now if we wanted to change that over we could i go here and you could see that it's almost like ori you have a, a camera that has different shutter speeds and and whatnot in order to compensate for the type of either action or lack thereof that you have going on so you you could see right here one over 200 one over 250 300 500 now it's getting much darker. So this is going to vary depending on the type of lighting. As you can see, look, if you can look behind me this way, you see what happens when I change the shutter speed or can you explain yep. to our folks why that's happening? You see the All lights. Right. Yeah. So essentially when a camera has its shutter, it tries to take a frame by opening up what is essentially a shutter there. And so those bars that you see traveling in a certain direction is the same direction the shutter travels. And since you want to synchronize your shutter speed with the frequency of your recording, then something really fast, like, uh, you know, like it's a, it's a division thing between the shutter speed and the hertz of lighting. So that's why we essentially create that rolling effect. Over one yeah. over 10,000. Look at that. So if you do have, yeah. if you're, I guess, really looking to do high speed, right? <laughs> I wouldn't do that on a webcam, but <laughs> and, and you know what? If you're adventurous, maybe you're adventurous and you want to go ahead and make some video. I'd love for you to send us some videos using this, using a one over 10,000. I guess what, what you're saying, Ori, is these settings will allow you to really compensate for what's going on in your environment, right? Yeah, a little bit. you're looking for? Yeah, but I wouldn't I wouldn't use shutter priority if that was one of the modes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, let's see. Do they have aperture priority or uh, oh. no? It's a bit more basic. It's very basic. It's not like your standard DSLR camera yeah. or mirrorless, yeah. but it's giving you something that you don't normally see in a lot of cameras. So if you're trying to get just the right look, you're trying to dial in a certain look. Maybe Ori, you. Uh, let's go, go back here. What I was trying to do here is maybe you're wanting to have a certain look so if i want to have a bright look you can see i've, I've changed the shutter priority right mm -hmm. to one over 90 go to one over 60 but maybe i want it uh, maybe just a touch more moody you know maybe what you're doing with your video you want to bring the lights down a little bit so maybe it's not as bright right there we go to 50, but you're the, you're the pro when it comes to this, where should we be set here for our, for our, I'm not sure I'd have to eyeball it for this one. So the first thing I notice it's a little cool, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. really mess with the shutter speed, but All right. maybe one over 150, one over 200 is safe. One over 200. Yeah, one yeah. over 200 is an interesting place to stay. Okay. So there's a couple of settings. Over... Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll we'll go we'll leave that there. So these are again all exposure setting. Oh, with exposure, you have the ability to control the brightness, and you can go right in here. And this could be done in full auto. All or... right, I think in full auto is safer for webcams. Yes. So what we can do is it has exposure compensation, I believe, and mm -hmm. that's the number we'd want to fit uh, finagle around with to kind of change the look. So okay. bringing that down should essentially make it darker. It, you can we go? Ne oh, we can go negative. There we go. Yep. That's that's happening. Yep. yep. Ooh, 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 look at that. So look if that, your lights are a bit too intense, 
then that's that's the place I'd go to without touching much. Just now, exposure compensation. It's a good point. So this product from talking to Comftel, this is used in classrooms quite a bit. A government and education tend to use this a lot. And if you ha you've got those really bright overhead fluorescent lights, sometimes they're very unflattering in how it presents your look. Those are what I guess you would call an industry or harsh lights. And so harsh lights don't really give you nice glowing soft look. And if you wanted to improve on that, I guess exco exposure compensation, Ori, is probably the place to start for what you're saying so you don't have to monkey around with so many settings. Yeah, yeah. For for like 90%, 99% of the users of a webcam like this, I'd say that's that's the only thing they should worry about. Okay, perfect. So, let's, so we got it on negative two right now. We'll just leave it there. Let's take a look at what some of the other settings. Bright gain like you said you, you if it's too if it's too bright well, let's, we can just monkey with that there we go the brightness you go that ooh too much and it does and what i'd like about this menu it cycles through so if you've yeah. gone past your setting you just keep your finger now again i'm manipulating this all from the remote and it gets too bright you could keep going and it'll just come back to the lowest setting right you don't even have to worry about it okay Right about there or lower? What do you think, Corey? What do you see? Yeah, right about there. Six, seven, that, that makes sense. All yeah. right. So let's get out of exposure. Color. And what I'm doing here is simply just clicking on the left, right on the, on the remote to get me into those menus. All right. I click on home and it's on auto white balance. And I believe for most folks, this is going to work. Am I right? Yep. And if you do have, you want to change how that look and feel as you know, you just click over here. And as you can see, it gives you some presets. This is a white, uh, the white balance for an indoor. Now it's, I'm sure they've picked the reason why they want this particular one for indoor. Cause an in indoor, you typically have low lighting in our case here. I've got a couple of lights that are on. That's not the case. I'm going to do something. Again, let's play some B-roll for you folks. And this this is the actual Comftel that Rolando has on his desk that we're looking at on the screen right now. And look at that. It is a it is a longer boy, right? <laughs> Compared it is, to It is longer than most, but what you most get is a lot of yeah. a lot of good circuitry built in and you have the ability to use a second monitor. Um, and some people want the ability to sh not just see themselves on the computer, but they may be showing this image to a, a group of people. They may be working on something else that requires them to show that image on another monitor or another location. This gives you that flexibility. The bottom line here is with the Comftel, you have some flexibility that you will normally not see in other devices. The other thing Comftel tends to, to do with their devices, they are... Uh, platform agnostic. So we were talking about Microsoft Teams. With the Comftel, you can use it across any platform without worry that if some devices, or the reason I say that is that with some devices, Microsoft Teams certified devices out of the box are going to work straight away on Microsoft Teams. But when you want to use it with other platforms, you get a little bit of a, I don't want to say complication, but you're going to have to go in and finagle the settings. And sometimes they may not work very well on other platforms. It depends on the device. There's many webcams out there that do different things, but bottom line here with the Comptel is platform agnostic. So if you're going to use it on multiple platforms, you would want to get a Comptel webcam because it's going to work well across all of them. Now, if you are a Microsoft teams user, all you've got to do is set it up, put it in, and you know, change the settings inside of Microsoft Teams so that it sees that as a webcam. All right. So what I did with the settings, uh, with the lighting, I just want you to see how, how different things look. That's really what I was trying to go for here, all right, is mm -hmm. how lighting changes what you do within these settings. So we were talking about, this is, okay, this is outdoor. You can, if you want to have it outdoors, uh, because typically you're going to have a lot more sunshine, a lot more yellow light. 
this is they're calling it a one push oh wait a minute that is a weird indoor and again we have lights here i've changed the lights so you can see that it does look a little different the moment you do change lighting you can change the color temperature so if you're so inclined and you know what color temperature is or can you give us a breakdown color temperature why would that be why would anybody monkey with the color temperature all right so color temperature is usually a bit more specific as to what warmth or tone you have for your image and daylight is supposed to be around 5500 kelvin so I'm going to crank it there. I'm going to meet you at 5600. So that's exactly right, what so I've done. You look a little warm right now. And that's because your room is kind of warm. Yeah, it's yellow. Yeah. yeah. I have yellow yep, it's yellow. Walls. So to compensate for a warmer room, I'd bring it down towards the 3000 to 4000 range. But depends on... You, you gonna ha you're going to have to eyeball it, bro. Yeah. You know so what? If it's I too like... cool, yeah, mm -hmm. go warm it up by moving it to the... To the higher end. I'm gonna just so that for the folks watching us, I'm gonna take it as woo. See, and it gets it cycles right through when you get to the lowest setting. So 8,000, 2,500. This this does look like a Swedish Swedish blues, I would call it. <laughs> That's a little yeah. too cool for what we're going for here. I like, uh, I I have tropical blood in me, right? So I like it just a little bit more colorful, but not too overexposed. I would say right about there. It's not the brightest. Oh, that's a little too much color. Right around there, forty-three hundred. If I yep. were if I were making some tweaks here, that's where I would leave it, especially for the lights that we have on. As you can see, I did open a window behind me. All of these variables change the way you look. Now, if you're not inclined to monkey with any of this stuff, all you got to do is come back over here. And this is a manual mode. Let's go back to auto. Boom. And the built-in algorithm will figure out what the right settings would be for the color for you. All right. Image. This is an important one. There are times when you are presenting yourself on screen. If you're just yourself, it's a one woman, one man show. The contrast and the sharpness may be too high. And if that's the case, if it's too sharp, you may find yourself showing some unflattering marks, maybe some wrinkles you're not really fond of. You could take the sharpness down and that will uh, kind of mask a little bit some of those wrinkles. The other solution to that is you get a little bit wider shot. <laughs> and so you get you get a little bit less of those imperfections coming through. So that's what you get here. Uh, you can also this so if you were to mount ceiling mount this thing and i've seen where go to go to here so now on most webcams it just sits on a monitor right like this mm -hmm. right but what if i wanted to do this ori and hang it from the ceiling because i'm in, a, in an office where i'm showing a room and the only way for me to secure this is from the ceiling a lot or underneath a television right yeah. or underneath the television for some for some reason instead of putting it this way underneath your television right where your television sits on sits above it maybe you want it underneath but you, you can only use it in this fashion this is another huge distinction so now i've got this upside down and if i wanted to i can change the vertical and horizontal so i can flip the image let's see Look at that. Ooh, interesting. Right? Yeah. Oh, do, 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 oh, that's fun. Then you can also flip the vertical like we were talking about. Here we go. Hey, Lo. But guess what? <laughs> what if just so in real time you could see that this actually works? I'm back to right side up, right? So the world is right. And I've got the and as you can see, it kept the image the right way. Now I'm going to go back. This is back on my on my monitor. So you may have a situation where it, that it calls for that. You've got the ability to do that right here again from the remote. Flip it around. Voila, back to the way it should be. So you have a lot of options here with this Comptel Cam 20. 
I think we may have, if you're getting some noise, you have the ability to do some noise reduction. You've got the ability here to take a look at the firmware. If you had any issues with Comftel, this is where they may ask you that, the, what firmware, what model, all that kind of stuff. So you have that available to you as well. Very easy, again, very easy. All on the remote. All you gotta do is push the menu button and there we go. Now, what I've experienced, and I'm using right now, this monitor is connected to a Windows machine on Chrome on a Mac. For whatever reason, the image was flipped horizontally. So my left was my right and my right was my left. Because this webcam has the ability, again, to flip that around, no file, no harm. Again, just reach for the remote, press the menu button, and go into image. And then you flip it horizontally and now the image is where it should be. All right. Did I cover enough on that one or did I miss anything on that no, one? I think okay. we got it. I want to show you one last thing before we move on to the kit. So this is the image that you're seeing. Many people today, or I'm gonna I'm gonna disable the tabletop for a moment. I'm gonna show folks what you're getting. Because many, many, many more people do not have a webcam that is anything like this from a business grade perspective they're using the laptop built-in webcam and mm -hmm. i want to show you the difference because that's important for you to see for those folks that are shopping around looking for something to improve that look and feel what you're going to get once you get that so you know what you're comparing yourself to all right so i'm going to switch my tabletop webcam here over to the integrated webcam that's built into the Lenovo laptop. so yeah. yeah right into the laptop so what you've got go ahead show them side by side now okay so the image on your left which is with the with the microphone boom that's with the Comftel cam 20 and the image on the right with the green screen behind me right here with the green screen behind me that is the built-in cam let me let me move that a little bit Okay, so I see a much clearer, much sharper image on the left. That's our Comftel. On the right, we have the built-in webcam from Lenovo. Now, I'll tell you this, just so you know, I'm looking right at the Lenovo camera when I'm saying this. This is the latest Lenovo webcam. We just got this less than 30 days ago. And you could see that, for one thing, I the slightest little touch on the table you, do you see how much and both of these are sitting on the same table the ones on a monitor and the other ones just over off to my side the Lenovo I just nudged the table a little bit and you could see that the Lenovo bounces around a whole lot more it's almost as if it doesn't have image stabilization Ori right yeah I don't think the Lenovo has any image stabilization does the Comptel have one that's a good question I'm not sure about that one that's a good one but by just looking at the image and the difference of how the exact same table and the vibrations on the table affect the image, I would say the Lenovo has no image stabilization of any kind. It's possible that I, I don't know. That's a good one. You stumped me. There's very few people that stumped me. You did it today, Ori. You get <laughs> the prize of the day. You stumped me because I don't know that one. Uh, but I'm sure we could find out and we could send out an update over social media if it does but by looking at it i'm just going to do that again i'm gonna i'm just gonna bump the table a little bit you see how much how much more the image from from the lenovo moves around that's just ugh. i would I think not it want also it. has to do with the field of view since the cam 20 is a much wider camera yeah there's uh, sh tiny shakes like that really aren't as noticeable okay compared let's, to let's, the let's, Lenovo. let's do a little bit of that let's try yep. to bring it in relatively into the same field okay. head and shoulders okay so i'm going to do the same thing the table bump test look at look at the image with the green screen yeah it is a lot more shake around. there a lot more a lot more. Look at that. Woo! Because I think the monitor of the laptop would be wagging back and forth, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. I mean, they're Versus, both. Again, uh, they're both. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to hold down. I've got my, my hand. I'm going to put it right on the laptop. 
Look at what happens. It's still jostling around a bit, right? Yeah. So this is what you're getting. I'm going to look over here at the ConfTel. This is the ConfTel webcam compared to the Lenovo. And it's an i3 using an i3 Intel processor. This is the latest processor. Uh, it's that mid-range laptop that many, many, and that's why we got it, uh, Ori, because many people are using this mid-range uh, or entry, depending on, on which one, the entry, even if somebody would say even entry level of laptop is. So Lenovo, you make good products, but when it comes to the laptop's built-in webcam, it just doesn't perform nearly as well with as much features as you would get on a webcam like the Comptel. All right. So yeah. let's switch back and we can. All right. So once again, we have a tabletop shot of the, this is the Comptel C20 Ego hub. That's correct. Right. So right. in that box, in this box, you get one of these. So it comes with the Comptel Cam 20, which we took out just a little bit ago. And let me open up the other items that come inside this brown box. This product is also has the uh, carbon neutral rating on it from Coftel. So again, all of their go. Boom. Back we'll to our, back. We're, we're back. So in the box, let's take out the other items. You're going to get a speakerphone. Let me put that there so you can see that. That is a Coftel Ego, e Ego, e -G -O, Ego speakerphone. It's a small, what they call the personal sized one. So you can take that with you on the go as well. And you get the hub. And the hub is good if you're going to connect to a laptop or a PC and want to display everything on that PC. You have the option to display via HDMI and USB. Let me talk about that in a moment. Move this box out of the way. So you've got the hub, which we're going to show off in a second. Uh, you've seen the cam 20 that's also part of the package and let me show you that audio so we were talking earlier how the audio ori is just as important as the video because I, I, i've been on so many calls and conference calls over the last two years and the audio for so many of these calls or is so hard it is really hard to sometimes understand to hear when again the microphone is two feet away on somebody's laptop or on some or they're yelling into it and so it makes it very difficult to have a really good conversation again if you are a business you owe it to yourself and your employees and your colleagues to really up your game i don't think we're going to go back to where we were pre-covid where every, everybody's back in the office so that home environment or that huddle space or even if you are in the office and you plan on doing a lot of that conference calling off of your desk, you owe it to yourself to really upgrade the audio because it makes a huge difference. Now, let me take out. It's nice. It comes in a neoprene bag so you can take it on the go with you. You've got a very nice, very comfortable shape of a nice form factor, actually, where this just fits right in your hand. This is a very unusual form factor a lot of speaker phones today in this price range in this kind of personal desk type of uh, form factor are usually round a lot of them are round but this is kind of at this shape it's kind of triangular so it's got one two three four five six seven is that right did not want to do count that one two three four five six sides so it's technically a hexagon Ori, is that right yeah I think six so. sides but they're six sides with cut corners, right? So, so it's a hexa hexagonal. How do you say that, Ori? Hexagonal? Hexagonal? <laughs> it's a sure. hexagonal form factor on this speakerphone. And it is very easy to use. I've used this before. On the, on the back here, you've got a US, uh, USB mini adapter on the back. It will plug in to your computer via USB. It's got Bluetooth built in. It's got an actual power button. Let me tell you from using so many devices, one of the fresh, most frustrating things for me, and I get to play with all these toys, is when you don't have a dedicated power button, when you actually have to hold a button down for three seconds and then use that same button for mute and maybe something else, 
it can be very frustrating for your users. Now, if you're looking to buy something like this, again, this is designed to be easy. Comftel bills themselves as an easy to use type of company and all their devices are very easy to use. And having a dedicated power button on the back for turning it on and off, if you'd like, is very beneficial. I find it for me, again, having used so many devices, I love the power button that's dedicated on there. I also like, and I find it interesting that they have an audio port. So you can plug in your headphones and if I wanted to, I could, uh, just so that, so Ori, I'm not gonna be hearing you while I'm doing this example here. I've got a 3.5 millimeter connector, which is what I'm using to listen to Ori right now, but these could be a pair of headphones or another audio device. And I just plug it on the back. And now instead of the audio being routed through the speaker, it comes right through this cable and into my headphones or other device that I have it connected. Maybe there's an external device that you're, maybe your smartphone for some reason doesn't show. I don't think you can pump it in. I don't think from an input perspective, you could do that. But what you can do is connect it via Bluetooth. So what's, when you grab your smartphone, let me grab mine. You can connect it via Bluetooth and now you have a much, much better speakerphone than your smartphone. Smartphones again, have a very similar type of situation when you're comparing it to the laptop. Laptops are great at sending emails. They're great for doing documents and spreadsheets. When you're gonna get online and show your face, that webcam isn't the best. And the same thing with the um, mobile device as well as the speakerphone. One of the most frustrating things for me, Ori, is when I'm talking to somebody, I can tell right away when they're on the speakerphone because I mm -hmm. can hear everything in the room. And sometimes you don't want to hear everything that's going on with somebody. Oh, yeah. Room, right? And there's no noise canceling, so it can't, it can't filter that voice out. The speakerphone will serve you well, whether you're using it for your audio conference calls or your video online sessions when you're in Teams and whatever. Teams, Zoom, any of those platforms. It's plug and play, so you're going to get very easy to use device. You know, Ori, one of the other things when we're talking about improving audio with this, the microphone essentially that's on here, you get very good pickup range, but it, because it's also closer to the source of audio versus maybe the webcam, in this case being the cam 20, the pickup yeah. is going to be much better for, for, in terms of the voice clarity. So you're going to get, look at that. Speaking of, speaking of voice, someone decided to call me while I'm on air. How frustrating. You've got a few other buttons. Let me go through here. You've got the buttons, they've got NFC built in. So if you're into the NFC craze, you just bring your cell phone close, boop, it pairs. You also have other function buttons that are on here. So if you're watching a video, you can fast forward, you can pause right here from, so if you're listening to your favorite tune, you, you're streaming Pandora or YouTube or anything, whatever, you've got the ability to fast forward and, and and pause and also answer and disconnect so you can it's got a very easy very intuitive on on here it's got a green and a, and a red green check mark so if you want to answer the call straight away from the speakerphone all you do is press the green button red obviously gets rid of the call or terminates the call so that's the speaker hub so you've got your cam 20 you've got your speakerphone in the box i forgot to mention you get a usb cable along with your user manual. Lastly, inside the kit, for those people that have one port and or very few ports, you're gonna want this hub, uh, this hub kit that Comptel makes because it makes your life a whole lot easier. It allows you to plug everything in into one thing and display it on your PC using the USB. Now, if you use the HDMI connection, you, you could still use HDMI. It still has the ability to do HDMI. One thing to point out about this hub that I'm showing you is that, oh, there's a lot of accessories here. So it's got everything you need from an accessory standpoint. You've got, you've got the USB cable. You've got two USB cables. You've got three USB cables. Wow, that's now a lot of cables. And I'm gonna ex <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to explain that in a second. You've got the power supply. And because Comftel is a global company, they have power supplies for virtually all around the world. So if you're watching us in Canada or in Europe or some other part of the world where you're using a different type of connector into the wall, they got you covered. Along with some Velcros 
straps in order to secure the hub if that you so choose maybe you want to hang it vertically or under a desk or somewhere where you're saving space you're talking about i've actually got all kinds of gizmos under the desk that i've secured so with this you you're, you'll be able to connect everything up to your laptop you'll be able to connect a camera which is what we've got here with the cocktail you can also hook up an external if you wanted to let's say down the line you want to upgrade to what a pan tilt zoom camera you can connect the pan tilt zoom camera that Cofftail makes so maybe you want a, you're in a bigger classroom or you decide to move you're in a bigger room and you need a little more oomph a little more beef out of the lens in the video you can upgrade and you can still use this now why this hub so for a lot of folks that use rooms team room not room teams that are for microsoft necessarily but rooms where you have other people coming in with their laptop this allows you to easily plug in all of those devices that are already let's say pre-wired inside that location and bring that laptop and plug that laptop in so yes we do have a lot of wires because these wires are made for different things they're made one for the laptop one for the Comptel ego itself and then you've got a third one, which would be for this guy right here. So you've got one for each one for the speakerphone. Let me, let me line it up for you. One for a speakerphone, one for the Comptel and one for the laptop. Yep. Oh, this got it the other way around and one for the laptop. So now you're completely covered. You don't need to go anywhere to get extra cables and accessories. You've got everything you need. And if you've got one of these rooms where you've got it all wired up, one of the issues is well what do i do when all these things how do it works and got you covered because the hub will connect all of these devices via one usb cable right into your laptop so this would be sitting inside the conference room if you're using a conference room or a huddle space and you just take that bad boy plug it in usb and you're good to go now here's one thing that you'll want to here's a pro tip can you give me a pro tip ori i haven't done that today Pro tip numero uno. So if you decide to go the route of using the hub for displaying the image via USB, you'll need to download the display link software. Now repeat that again. You want to use the display link L I N K software. It's a free software that you use and i actually have to use it with my monitor over here that i'm looking at my image in order to get the image off of my laptop to display on this monitor you'll need to do that if you plan on using usb you don't need to do that if you're connecting hdmi into your laptop so you're outputting hdmi from your laptop to a monitor you just don't need to do that now not all laptops not all computers have hdmi and that's why this hub is so good. If you don't have HDMI, you've got, you're, you're covered. You just need to make sure you get and download the display link software on your laptop so that you can actually see that image on a second monitor. Okay. So that's the pro tip for today. Now, all of this here, again, you probably, if for some, maybe a little bit much, but for those that are in rooms where you have multiple people that are going in and out of those rooms, this is going to be your best friend. And like I've said before, and I've said earlier, government institutions, education, and even uh, other businesses are using more and more spaces that could be shared with smaller groups of people. This is ideal for that type of situation. And the Comptel folks got you covered. All right. I think Ori. Did I miss anything? Did I miss something that you wanted to jump in and, and discuss or say? Uh, did we have any shout outs that we need to give out? No, I think we're good for today, actually. So we have, uh, just want to say goodbye to our last few viewers on Amazon Live. Okay. And you've been watching uh, Tech One Two. No one, no one shouted in the comments today. That's fine. So no random giveaways. <laughs> no random giveaways. That's okay. That's, yeah. That, we'll, we'll save that for the next time. All right, yep. then. So today you've been watching us on Tech One Two. Joining me has been Ori in cyberspace, cyber, cyber somewhere. Virtual Ori joining me, holding it down. So I appreciate you joining me today, Ori, and helping me out as you always do. 
and thank you for joining us today and if you haven't followed us go ahead and click that follow button click the click and bump the like button and follow us on amazon we yep. also are on youtube we're also on linkedin and several other social media where you can get in touch with us you have other questions send us your questions and comments because we love questions and we may feature it in our other segment that we call answer the community where we take customer questions and questions from all over and answer it so if you got something you need an answer to that's regarding office technology stump the expert myself or my or my other colleague dave uh, or even ori we'll throw uh, ori in, in the mix as well he may he's he's got an expertise in in a video production and on producing and you know throw it his way and maybe he'll he'll get on answer the community and join me and answer some of those questions <laughs> maybe one of these days <laughs> So thank you very much. Thanks for joining me today. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.